Hey guys, this is Kurt with Owensboro RV in Owensboro, Kentucky. And today we're standing in front of the 2017 Sandpiper Select 357 trip. It is a bunkhouse model. It's 40 foot, three inches, tip to tail, but it has a lot of space for you and your family. And so today we're gonna to take a look at it. Sandpiper always uses an aerodynamic front cap. It's two-toned, it's painted, looks great. As you go back through the coach here, does have the hydraulic front landing gear. Now as we step over here and take a look at this, one of the things that I really like is that all of your controls are right here and your storage. I like that your dump valves are here at uh, basically hip height instead of underneath the coach. This also gives it a little bit of protection from the elements from freezing up on you. You've also got a water filter, whole house water filter that filters your water. You've also got all of your connections here. So hot water bypass, you have all your cable and satellite connections right here. You also have outside shower right here. So it makes everything real simple for hookup that everything is right here on the coach itself. Now, this one does have a 10 gallon gas electric hot water heater. I like that it's 10 and not six like some of the competition uses. You also have 7,000 pound axles on this coach. So in terms of your weight, your dry weight should be right in the neighborhood of about, I believe it's 11.5, let's take a look here. And on this one, yeah, 11.5 on your dry weight is gonna be real close to what you are on this coach. Now let's go back and take a look at the rest of the coach here. One thing that I do like that they do on this is that they use a 20 foot awning. So it actually covers both doors. Sometimes you'll get an awning that's a little bit shorter and your back door may not be covered under the awning. This one, you've actually got a 20 foot awning. It covers both entry doors into the coach. Now this has got the outside kitchen, which is a really nice feature. I like the fact that it has that. So right here you can see you've got your outside kitchen, you've got a fairly good sized fridge, you do have your little sink here, and you've also got your cabinets that go through, and then you've got your LED lights, white and blue, that lights up here uh, for your outside kitchen, which really gives it a nice touch aesthetically and everything else. Waterproof cabinet here, so if that gets wet, that's not gonna swell up on you. And then you've got your grill, on the back bumper that swings around so that you can cook out those hamburgers and hot dogs. You've also got a ladder that goes to the top. You've got a 3 8 inch roof decking, so full walk on roof. You can walk on the roof and do all of your roof maintenance. Now let's go here and look at the inside of this. You have the bigger grab handle going in. And so as we walk here, I'm gonna shut this door because it's a really windy day today. Now, as you look around, you can see that this is your main living area. I like what they've done here. There, there's several things that I like that they've done on this living area that perhaps you don't get in another coach. One is I do like all the cabinets and I like the color of the wood they're using. It's a little bit darker and they're also using a little bit darker hardware on it. So I do like the hardware color. I like the fact that they've not used a sticker here. This is actual uh, kind of a backsplash. Some of them use a sticker. Of course, they do that to save weight, but over time those kind of crinkle up and wrinkle up. And so I like the fact that you do have an actual backsplash here. Your control panel is right here. So you have all your lights, water heater, uh, tank monitors, slide out, awnings, all of your controls are right here behind this cabinet. So it's hidden out of the way. So that is a nice touch as well. One thing that I've liked that they've done, this is in the granite color, so this is the gray. This has been a popular color. But I like where they've put the TV. So the TV is right across from the couch. A lot of times, what they have done with this particular style of floor plan, and a lot of manufacturers do this, is they put the TV where that cabinet was, and so you have to turn your head to look at the TV. Here, you're exactly directly across from the TV, and so it's really great how they've angled that and put the TV there. So 
If you like to watch a movie at night when you come in or if it's a rainy day at the campground, you can come in and you're sitting directly across from the TV. You can also see it from the one side of the dinette as well. So I like that they've done that because this is really kind of an important feature, I think, the fact that your TV is directly across from where you're going to be sitting and spending most of your time. Now, the Sandpiper, one nice thing about this too, and this is something new that they started for this year, is they've got the cold air returns. So you actually don't see the main AC, and what it does is it draws air from there instead of from the outside. It's a little bit quieter and a little bit more efficient in terms of cooling your coach. This is a trifold sofa, so you can sleep two here. That also converts to the bed. You can sleep one or two there. Now this is a bunk model, like I said, so as we step back here, there's a couple of things back here that I think is pretty cool for this bunk area. One, you've got a drop-down bunk here, and you've also got another trifold sofa. So you can sleep two on that trifold sofa, you can sleep one up here, and then you've got a smaller bunk up top. Now, the Sandpiper also uses, this is the new Teddy Bear bedding. It's a little bit thicker and a little bit more comfortable than the really thin, and I'm talking super thin, mattresses that some of them use. So I do like that they've gone to this little bit thicker mattress. Again, it's a quality coach, and I like that they're using that. Uh, you know, I probably could sleep on that and be comfortable. You do have your TV entertainment center kind of right here for the kids couch right directly across if you've got teenagers like i do they can take their xbox or game system and and have a, a great day at the campground one thing that this one does have is a half bath and that is what that second door when we were outside that second door comes right into the half bath so if you're at the campground the kids need to use the bathroom they can come right in use this it's not terribly big but certainly big enough for the people back here and for the kids brush their teeth get ready for bed at night now let's walk through and kind of look at the uh, bedroom area. And so we'll walk this way and up the stairs we will go into the bedroom. Now this has two airs. Now you do see the second air on the sandpiper in, in the living area. But you can see the head height that you have in this bedroom area it is really a massive bedroom. I'm six foot tall and I still, I'm basically at the edge of the closet here and I can still stand up in this bedroom. You've got three drawers here which pull out for your dresser, but your closet is huge. I mean, I'm, again, six foot tall. I can be in this closet. You've got the rod that goes all the way across, shelves here, shelves here. So you've got a lot of storage space on this one. Now, this one does not have washer and dryer connection on the Sandpiper Select. I think it is an option if you wanted to add the washer and dryer connection. Let's walk back through here and look at this bathroom real quick. This bathroom is, is really a nice touch. I like the glass shower doors that go all the way across. And a lot of people like that little shelf. It's a great place to sit. The women really like it because they can shave their legs as they're sitting in there. Again, if you're tall, you can sit there as well, take a shower. And you've got storage in here. So I think it's a, a nice touch. It's not terribly huge, but it's certainly a, a very efficient bathroom. So let's, let's step down back into the main living area. Of course, you got your dual zoned air thermostats right there. So guys, on this one, with most of your sandpipers, you really end up being kind of in the mid-50s. With the Sandpiper Select, you're more into the mid-40s. So it's a great price point unit. It has a lot of value for the money. And so if you're in the western Kentucky area and you're in Owensboro you want to come see me, I would love the opportunity to talk to you about this coach. Me or any of the salespeople here would be happy to talk with you. Uh, my name is Kurt. I'm Kurt the Camper Dude. So come see me. We'd love to set you up. If you like and enjoy these videos, please subscribe as I regularly review the new models. Thanks for watching, guys, and God bless.